Uh, the story takes place over the course of 25 years. It's, um, you know, there are parts that are directly after MK9. There are parts that are five years, 10 years, 15 years, 25 years ahead. And uh, we kind of jump around, um, but most of it takes place in the far future, which is the 25 years ahead. Mortal Kombat 9 had a really good reception to its story mode. You know, the various chapters that you would follow each character. And um, we also did that in Injustice, and so we really, we continue to get really good response to that. So Mortal Kombat X is probably going to continue in that fashion with a little, some enhancements that people will uh, be happy with. There are certain periods of the story that, like, where these descendant characters uh, are, are adults. So we had to really kind of focus on the, the latter part of it because we didn't really want to um, show, you know, these characters growing up the entire the entire time. Although we show them in younger versions. Um, but so for the most part, the way it affected us, it kind of pushed it, you know, towards the latter part of it, where we see some of these characters, Kano and, and, and Raiden and Sub-Zero, all in their kind of older forms. The uh, ca characters like Cassie Cage is like kind of a descendant of Johnny Cage and Sonya. And so we thought that, you know, showing them as fightable characters was probably the, the most interesting so people can actually play as them. And so that means they're adults, which kind of pushes us into the, uh, into the latter part of uh, the story. Um, I think one of the, more, the most interesting thing about these descendant characters is seeing them interact with their, you know, elder uh, um, relatives. And so, you know, there's cousins and, 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 and sons and daughters and all that stuff that we're going to be introducing. But, you know, to me, the, the most interesting thing is seeing them interact with the characters that everybody knows. Uh, we haven't determined the final DLC characters in the game. Rain was a DLC character in um, MK9. So the only thing I would say to that is his chances would be less likely and because we want to do as much new stuff as possible in uh, Mortal Kombat X. There currently isn't a Mortal Kombat versus uh, project in the works. There's a nostalgia side of me that would love to see a Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter if we were allowed to make like an M-rated game. I think that people would, would might, there's, there's, there's a novelty to that. Um, but uh, the chances of that happening are pretty low. Um, so uh, um, it's a possibility, but not a probability. In my opinion, uh, the fact that we've been uh, very aggressive with not being afraid to change things up. You know, we've, we've, you know, if you play Mortal Kombat 1, it plays nothing like, you know, Mortal Kombat Deception, which plays nothing like Mortal Kombat 9, and Mortal Kombat X with its variations has, you know, something that hasn't been done before in any other Mortal Kombat game. So we're not afraid to just add new things, really mix things up so the experience is different um, with every game. Unfortunately, you know, some other fighting franchises have had repeated the same thing, but with a prettier skin, and they've just kind of faded off into like obscurity. And that's, that's something that we've really tried not to do, is to just put the same game. Like Mortal Kombat X isn't MK9 with prettier graphics, it's a whole new kind of fighting system. For people who are familiar with Mortal Kombat, we've we first had the fatality, and then we added a babality, and we added friendship moves, and brutality moves, and uh, all these crazy things over the years. And um, we are going to be reinstating an ality. From a previous game into Mortal Kombat X. And uh, I can't wait to be able to talk about it, but at the moment I can't. Currently, we've only uh, announced that it's coming out in 2015. I'm sure within the next few weeks, we're gonna give a, an actual release date, you know, month and day. Um, but it's coming out for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC.